Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. And today, we're going to be working on a kit. And this one is in the July, or yeah, July through December mini catalog on page five. It's called the Nourish and Flourish Kit. And it is, um, So making a difference stamp set. I mean, it's, it's not a stamp set. It's a card kit with a lunch bag. And it's a pretty good sized lunch bag, and it's pretty. You can see how big that is. Anyway, it comes with a lunch bag and a kit. So today I'm it makes nine cards, three different designs, and the instructions are in the brochure that comes with it but it says food scarcity is an issue facing communities across the globe we aim to make a difference and we hope you'll join us for each nourish and flourish kit you purchase we will donate three dollars to support organizations working to end food insecurity anyway it's a really pretty um card kit doesn't require any ink or stamps Everything comes in the kit, and they're blank on the inside. You can stamp something if you want, and then they come with the envelopes. So, very nice cards. So today, I'm going to just go through and show you how to make them. They're pretty simple. You can probably do it without my instruction, but I thought it would be fun. So I've got everything um, for each kit, each card punched out one card here so this is the first one right here and then inside it shows you the order of putting things together and all the die cuts are there's three sheets of die cuts and then there's some um, these are stickers so the first thing you're going to do is put a sticker across the front the first card. Let's get the first card out here. <laughs> it's this card right here. So what I did is try to define the center as best I could and get it straight. So I lined it up on my grid paper and then picked a spot where I want it and make sure it lines up across so that it's not crooked. So that's the first thing I did. And then I put um, three dimensionals on the back of the um, sentiment here. And centered that. It says just saying hello. Like this. Let me get my bone folder. Flattened out a little bit. Okay. Okay, then you're going to take your flowers and you can see it's got these, which you could use, but I think for this first flower that's flat on there, I'm just going to glue it on. If I can get glue to come out. I'm just going to glue that down right here underneath. Okay, just like that. And then this leaf is glued down. It's the big leaf. So I'm going to glue it down right here. Okay. And then the next thing I did was I took my little flowers and these little leaves and I went ahead and used these um, glue dots and I put, if I can pick them up, put one glue dot here Put 
did it where did my flower go <laughs> oh there it is oh dear I just kind of stuck it like this okay and then I took another glue dot put it right here And then I took a Stampin' Dimensional, and I put the Stampin' Dimensional here, kind of underneath there. Let me get it off of here so it'll stick. I put it just like so. I might need another one. We'll see. And then I stuck that down right here. Like this. That way it's um, raised up. And then I kind of did the same thing with the glue dots for these leaves. Put one here. I put, actually put two on this one. One here. And then I stuck it behind this small flower, like so. Making sure, <coughs> excuse me, making sure to cover up the glue dot. And then I put a glue dot right here. And then on this flower, I did the same thing. Put a couple of glue dots. Yes. Okay. And then I went ahead and put a Stampin' Dimensional right here. Put my flower on here. It's like so. So it was raised up. And then I used another Stampin' Dimensional here for this other flower to be raised up. Okay. I'm going to fumble fingers here. And then I put it on there like so. A little bit different than what the instructions call for, but I found that to be easier. And that's your card number one. Okay? Card number two is this one. It's got a few more flowers. Okay. Well, this, now these are embossed already. Okay. And I took the this sticker. I turned this sideways so I could get this where I wanted it straight and it looked like it was kind of in the center so you just kind of try to find the center it's about an inch wide the sticker Put it across there and if you find that it kind of hangs over a little bit you can cut it or see that looks pretty good okay then you put your four dimensionals on the in the center on the back of this label. Put it right in the center of your card. Okay? It's like so. Now, I took these and did the same thing with these glue dots. I took them, I'm going to put these where I could see what they are, and picked out the um, leaves that go, go with each one of the flowers, and I put two on there. And then I put it behind the flower. I found this was easier to do it this way. Um, 
and to try to glue them. And then this is just going to get tucked right in here, like so. Okay. And I went ahead and glued this one down because it was going to be flat anyway. And so I just used my glue. You can use the um, glue dots if you want. And then I just tuck that right under there, just like that. Okay, and then I was looking at the picture to see which flower goes where. So this one goes here. And this one goes here. And it looks like this one goes here. And this one goes right here. This flower is just going to get glued there. And then I used a glue dot on here. And put it behind this flower. And this flower is just going to go right here, just like so. So you can use glue on all of these, or you can use the glue dots. So I'm going to go ahead and use glue. If I can get the glue to come out. Or do we need a new glue? Let's try using a new glue here. I just happen to have one handy. Okay. Oops, a little bit too much glue on that. It's okay, we're going to take it and we're going to put it on this. Okay. So this goes right here. So I've already got some glue on here. I'll go ahead and finish putting glue on it. get too much glue just kind of spread it around with one of your other elements that you're going to glue down if you got enough fingers <laughs> put that one right there and then this one is going to go here okay and this one Sometimes my fingers just don't want to work. Stubborn fingers. Okay, I'm going to put this one right here. This one goes here. This you can do this card kit if you're traveling. You stop somewhere, just everything's in the kit. You don't have to use glue. You can use those glue dots. And then that flower goes right there. And that is card number two. Okay. Card number three is this one all the pieces for that. Like I said, these are quick and easy cards. You can make all nine cards in less than half an hour. Okay. This one has this um, this label on the bottom. This card goes this way. Okay. So you just line that up on the bottom. Okay. Then you put this in the center. I put three dimensionals on the back. You could do give someone these cards as a gift with the lunch pail. 
you could just give someone the lunch pail and then give away the cards. Oh, I forgot. I will do it after. There's uh, pearls that you can put on there, but let's get these all on here first. So let's get these on here. Okay, this goes with the larger one. Like so. And one of these. here and then these leaves go here okay and you can put glue or glue dots whichever you prefer and glue that down right here Lift that up and glue it down. Okay. And the other flower, let's do the same thing. picking up that glue and I'm not really ready for it. <laughs> Nothing like getting old and getting arthritis. Okay, glue this one down right on this corner. Okay, I'll glue it just like so. Okay, now we're going to work with these. That one goes there. Then this one. The little leaves go on this one. So I'll we'll need this. And I... doesn't show it in the instructions, but I used mini dimensionals. And actually, no, I used a big one. And put on the back of this flower. And then stuck this flower right here. In this corner, just like so. And for these, I took one of these. Put it on the back of this. Stuck that flower here and then I used a dimensional on the back of this right here so I wanted it raised up and you can put one of these right here oops and stick that right just like that Okay, then it has these pearls that you can put on the fronts of your cards. There should be enough pearls for all nine cards, looks to me like. Because you put five on each card. There's that one. And then this one. And then each card comes with an envelope. Okay, one more. Put pearls on this one. And you've got, you'll have nine cards when you're done. 
Now you could do uh, al alternative. Why is sticky for that rent? There it is. <laughs> Good night. There. Okay. Those are the cards. We've got six of them done. I've got um, three more to do. And I'll have nine cards. You have to let me know what you think. If you like this card kit, it's well worth it. It's um, $39 retail. If you're a demonstrator, you can get a discount on it. And this will help get you toward your $50. If you buy $50 worth of product, you can get a free item out of the celebration. And that goes until the end of August. And this card kit is available until the end of December or while supplies last. Um, I bought a couple of them so I can use them as gifts. So I hope you like this video. It's very simple. I thought we'd do just something really simple today that doesn't take very long. So you have a blessed day and have fun stamping.